nobody cares about Uncle Chebex. This is important. Uh, What's happening? What is he doing? Uh, I'm trying to predict it because I actually do not know what he's doing. Uh, what? Guys, we're just going to have to learn together. All right. Would it be funny? Oh, oh my, my God. God! Oh, my God. This is the tallest thing I've ever seen. This has a trillion IQ. This is why he raced the layer. This oh is why he wasn't mining gas. Oh, oh this, this is so sick. Woo! This is insane. He's so smart. I have never seen this before in my entire life. This team officially has a thousand IQ. I thought no one ever beat the 900 IQ that me and Terrence have. Here's a thousand IQ for This is insane. And I can guarantee you, any pros never seen this. I've never seen this. Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh. All right. Uh, after that intro, we're going into some uh, really, really good TVP uh, featuring uh, EG's the Muslim. Very solid macro player, very good understanding of the game. Uh, he really was well known in uh, Warcraft 3, actually. He's one of those old time RTS players, but he has just solid fundamentals, solid mechanics. So, hopefully, by looking at this play, you can get a <clears throat> better understanding. You know, try to emulate it to your own play to see uh, what kind of things you can improve on. But with no further ado, let's go ahead and get into this game. All right. Spotting over here in the bottom left, we have XO's Despro. A very high rated toss. Over here in the top right in the blue, we have EG the Muslim. talking about a previous game we'll see if we can get some new timing some interesting things from this game you just never know <laughs> sometimes you get you know just the cheesy all in and sometimes you'll just get some new innovative crazy thing and you'll find them from just scouring these replays all right do love this uh, a lot of Terrans towards the end of Wigs of Liberty just kind of quit doing the, uh, the wall in over here uh, this is popularized. Uh, the first time I really saw it being done well was uh, TSL's Pult would uh, do some weird gas timings to get some extra barracks in there uh, when his building groupings were all said and done. Uh, it saves time and it uh, just gives you that few extra minerals you need to set up the infrastructure as Terran, which is oh so important. Because the Toss has even more weapons in this expansion. So the Terran has to make sure they have that uh, barracks up and running as soon as possible while still being able to produce the SCVs at a decent rate. Why is he sending out the scout? We'll run right into the other one. I almost wish they added some type of jousting to where the two pros would just have to fight for the death. The winner got like 200 minerals, but that'd be crazy. Anyway, back over here, scouting, looking for proxy pylons back in the main. The probe, just idling, just hanging out, just seeing what's going on, looking for a gas timing that probably isn't going to come. Oh, almost traps that poor SCV against the wall. Would have been a pretty big loss. And we have no gas here. You can almost assume it's going to be a one racks fax expand. Now the question, is Despro going to try to punish him for it? He knows right now that uh, it's going to be a fast expand. Nothing as greedy as a CC first, but uh, there's not going to be gas uh, for a significant amount of time. We do have some harass going down over here as well. Uh, just getting a good feel for uh, what his opponent's doing. I'd like to think that uh, Despro is just going to try to turn around and drop his Nexus. And the Muslim being as annoying as possible. Just so important. Abusing that APM. Keeping everything running at home, keeping the expansions up, watching his supply, getting his infrastructure down, all the while trying to pay as much attention to this part of the map as possible. Trying to get expansion timing. Right now he's just denying that Nexus if it's going to go down. He has to make it last about another 10 seconds before he can rule out any type of all-in type play. He really needs to try to get this SCV back in here. Because right now he knows nothing uh, we don't know if there's an expansion, if there's four gates, if there's a stargate. Uh, he just saw a very early timing. So he's going to have to find a way to get a scan down or something. Uh, he did deny that uh, He denied that for a while, though. So he's going to be considerably ahead in terms of economy if he can get those uh, 
Get those mules consistently coming out. Over here, do have a nice collection of uh, SCV falling. And here comes that very, very often seen uh, Zealot Stalker push. More for scouting than anything else, but can put out a good amount of damage. Uh, YZ Bunker already down. Going to repel anything over there. Back over here, we do have that brand new unit. The Mothership Core headed out to do some damage. Now, it doesn't have a lot of hit points. But it can, it can kill workers if you aren't prepared for it. And this really does take advantage of this early infrastructure that the Muslim has going for the tech lab. Doesn't really have those first units out yet, so it can possibly get a few kills here to be huge. Oh, it gets one, one SCV. It's a scout as well. Sees the double gas, sees the triple barracks. Knows his bio, knows he's got a 10 minute timing he needs to defend for. And that Terran drop is even more deadly now. Seeing by how you have to know as a Protoss player, it's almost a guaranteed probability, not even possibility, that that drop's coming eventually. Whether it's pressure in the front while dropping back over here, this is just such a deadly map for drops. You can push in the front, drop from here. When they come to defend, you can bring it back over here. There's just tons of space for the Terran to play with. Very good map to go bio on. How will we react, though? Going to income, we do have a pretty significant lead by Despro. Just needs to solidify that defense, get some more stalkers out, get some more sentries out. Uh, yeah, scratch what I said about stalkers. Needs to get just some more defensive units out. Does have good map control, does have the amazing map vision. Unfortunately, this isn't Zerg though, so the, these uh, Zelnaga Towers, I want to say, are important, but it's very seldom that a Terran player is just going to march all the way down here in this long map. Uh, I'd be more worried about drops than anything else. I'd love to see some type of movement over here, or something pile on anything. Because he's not going to, he's kind of being redundant with his scouting. He knows it's bio, he knows, like, something's coming. Uh, it's most likely going to be drops. There's only so much a Terran can do, and if he rushes this bio, he's got a small window where he's got to do damage. Around the 10 minute mark. And right on time, you know, the Muslim's going to be there. About 10.30, he can arrive right here. Uh, 10.30, 4 medevacs, about 13 marines, 4 marauders are right here. Whether that's a funnel push or drop, the magic window time is almost 10.30. And as you'll see, that Protoss will be really weak until about 11 minutes when they can get that first Colossus out. Or Templar Tech, which we have uh, Despro going. And over here, uh, going, uh, committing to the Marine Marauder Medevac, uh, showing a scouting factory. Almost uh, solidifies that. He already knew it was bio, though, so no surprises here. Moving out, 9.30. First set of uh, medevacs coming out as well. Perfect timing is moving out. Uh, it is completely seen by the observer. Can he do anything though? Oh, he went double tech, Twilight Council, and the robotics. Oh, may have made a small error here. Tried to go multiple tech pass. Uh, the result being he has no army. Uh, all his money is tied up in buildings that aren't even done yet, and tech that's not done being researched. And here's that 1030 mark. He's right here at the entrance, knocking down the rocks. This is all visible. Remember, Mothership Court does have Photon Overcharge, which will be able to repel a little bit of damage, but all the Terran has to do is just drop into the location. First Colossus out, but I don't think it matters. Good force field's going down. Time Warp as well. Doing tons of damage. Mothership Core will fall, though. A Muslim having to pull back. Good defense by Despro. Knocking off another medevac as well. Brilliant defense. Nice little uh, use of the factory. Get that third timing. Deny the third for as long as possible. Workers about even. Supply about even. About as even game as it can be. He just squeezed out that Colossus just in time to stop that push. He got it out right at 10.30. You can tell despro has been laboring over this build. And he stopped it. Stopped it very handily. 
Did not think that would happen. I want to say that Terran's almost in a very bad position right now. Uh, Toss did go ahead and start his third. We don't have a third yet. By the Muslim. I uh, did start Viking production as well, but keep in mind this crazy little build that Despro had. He did go almost a hidden Twilight Council as well, so he can almost completely halt production on the Colossus, which he is doing, and now going for the Templar tech. So these Vikings are going to be pretty much worthless. How tricky is that? All because of the Mothership Core. You could never do this in Wings of Liberty. You would just die to that push. But you have Time Warp. Photon Overcharge just did so much. Gave so much utility to that army to where he could pull this very greedy build off. As a third down is completely tech changed. Almost pulled a Zerg on the Muslim. Who I believe has no idea even what's going on. He doesn't even know there's a third. Probably can assume it at this point. Uh, is completely completely in the dark. Uh, didn't go crazy on the Vikings though. Does have the uh, small three. He doesn't want to kill Colossus in one volley. He just wants to have the consistent pressure there to uh, force the Colossus to reposition themselves. And good use of these uh, observers. By Despero, he's got really good position of the Muslim's army. He's really negating the mobility that Terran has. And the Muslim's not really being a very hyper-aggressive uh, dropping player right now. He's pretty much just macroing and trying to march up the front ramp, which he does have a supply lead right now. A uh, very comfortable lead. If we go to upgrades as well, he does have 1-1 one, one finish to the tosses 1-1, one, one, so we're pretty much even. Does have stem, combat shield, concussive shell, though, as well. Uh, the Protoss does have storm, and we have the... Uh, very interesting. Now that he switched to the Templar tech, he does have the Warp Prism constructing as well to maybe do some drops. Warp Prism Harass, very effective versus an over-aggressive bio player like this. We do have a huge supply lead by the Muslim. Over 20 supply lead. These storms will make up for that, though. If he can get effective use of the storms, there aren't any ghosts out yet. Oh, he swings around the back side, scanning wisely. Knows the army's out of position. Can he snipe the Nexus, possibly? Taking heavy damage. He's starting to do the unit splits. We have hallucinations coming in, wasting the Viking volleys. Ah, oh, there's a whiff storm. Lost opportunity there to do a lot of damage. Has nice unit splits now. Double storms going off. Missing both those as well. Barely hitting anything with those storms. And oh man, those High Templar are just not paying for themselves. There's one good storm. Needs one more, possibly feedback's going down as well. Oh, nice on the blink, trying to take out some more units. One, two, three, possibly three medevacs drop. That's a lot of gas lost. Good trades back and forth. Going to units lost tab. We do have the Muslim actually on the latter end of that. Has lost quite a bit. That's two big attacks. Now that Despero's pushed back, he's in a very good position to move into the late game. They still have a supply ah, deficit, though. He's going to have to crank that macro into gear. I don't know if the answer's taking another base, increases the infrastructure, or uh, stop slowing down the upgrades, but he, he's got to be able to catch up to this production from the Muslim, which is just ridiculous at this point. In his vision, he's got 10 racks already constantly producing. It's 10 racks, all uh, reactor tech labs, just constantly producing units. He can remax just as fast as the Protoss can. And there's a storm not hitting too many units. In comes a blink to take out some Vikings, but it won't matter because he only has one Colossus. No ghost tech, not needed. In comes a blink again to take out some more Vikings. There goes the scans. Those beautiful offensive scans getting positioned, pre-splitting. Trying to avoid those storms. And Marauder Heavy Army is just going to eat up those storms without taking too much damage. Tons of medevacs as well. Able to just tank all this damage. Storms going out, but the split's pretty damn good by the Muslim. He's going to just walk away. In come the reinforcements from that crazy macro. Still has a supply lead. 